That truck's carrying sleepers. Huh. Maybe they are actually restoring this line. So yeah, you're right. You can already tell that this place would be extremely difficult to put a railway down here. And that's because it is. It was. But back in the day, instead of, you know, putting down, you know, as a normal person would do, you know, a tunnel through this area, they would make a zigzag railway here. So here was the knapsack viaduct. The line would basically go from down there up to here, we'll go down there, and then it will go up to Luckersville, and then it will just go up again to you know where it is now. Actually, I'm not sure if it would go up again. Looks like it would. Yeah, they turned the Nutsack Viaduct into a bridge, however. He isn't used by cars, so... I mean, it is kind of a thin bridge, but it's beautiful, as I said. The Lapston Zigzag was made at the start of the Blue Mountains as part of the contract to build the railway from Penrith to Valley Heights. But they aren't called the Blue Mountains for nothing, so they had to make a grade that would go up to the towns. But there was a problem. There were many towns that wouldn't get get station, although they were closer to the city. The solution was the zigzag. One train goes into a turnback siding, then reverses upwards into another one. Repeat until you're at the top. Here, there would have been a knapsack vi viaduct, the zigzag, and then Luckersville Station. The line would then continue to Valley Heights. Construction started in 1863 and ended in 1865, however, it was only open until 1867. The zigzag would quickly run into problems. The size of the turnback loops would limit the length of trains, plus having to reverse into Lacassville Station added extra delays. Plus, the line was so steep that a fatal accident occurred when a goods train rolled back down the grade and plowed into another train all the way back at Emu Plains. So it was decided to close down the zigzag in 1890 and replace it with the Glenbrook Tunnel Deviation. Arthur Streetian painted fires on, depicting the construction of the deviation. But what about all those people that were hacked off? Well, the new grade was level enough to build stations on, and all that was in Luckersville was just one house. The station was sworn in using the owners of the house's political clout. The station was completely unnecessary. All that's left of the Lapson zigzag is a knapsack viaduct and the platform at Lacassville. All the track has been lifted up. Also, like, this place is beautiful. It's an amazing viaduct back in the day. Here's what one of the arches would look like. It's all made out of, like, sandstone. The thing is, if this was made you know, today, it would probably just be like a concrete causeway. It would just be like a, like a really ugly causeway. This is what a nice building or bridge actually looks like. Instead of just like this. Stuff like those modern apartment blocks and you know, that Jenga building in New York. Seriously, that looks horrible. Although we don't have any time to do the Steve Taylor stair challenge, I challenge all of you who are watching this video to do it. And we're going to be walking across it.
as you kind of see here on the road where they would have painted the lines onto it. Yeah, the road kind of just went abandoned since no one was driving down here. Yeah. You can also see the train line from down there. Well, down here. Up, up here. Oh my gosh. Now I thought a freight train was coming down a line. It was just a truck. The original plaque was just falling apart. So they replaced it in 2017. Drops Does it have any sign of kind of buildings? No. Does it have, you know, tarmac platform? No. Does it have any road connections? No. Does it have just anything at all apart from just a platform? No. Now here you can see there's like a cutting in the platform here. It's worn away. All the pieces are actually down here. I'm actually thinking like one day, you know, me and my mates will come down here with some glue and fix this station. Um, but yeah, you can clearly see now like what kind of rocks they would use. So basically they would just use you know, stuff like aggregate, kind of just like sandstone and all that. And then they would just plate it up. This is kind of like little flat bricks slate maybe I'm not for sure those rocks they would have chiseled in at these okay. exact rocks here you can even see chisel, chisel chis marks yeah to make room, like where they've just like, like you know it's just to make this platform it's very interesting railway archaeology little, you know, cute thing that they did for, for here, you know, they made this, the path kind of in like a zigzag pattern in honour of the original zigzag, it's pretty, pretty nice, it's cute, it's nice. I like I like it. Okay. You know, it's it's got a nice viaduct. It has cool arch over it. It looks nice. 